Hi everyone, it's Vu. So it's no secret that today, one of the highest paying jobs in the world right now is in the tech industry. Uh, this has given rise to many, and I mean many, uh, different coding boot camps around the world. So in this video, uh, we're gonna be taking a look at these coding boot camps, uh, this industry, uh, this structure, and we're gonna go through four reasons uh, why I think it may be a scam. Reason number one. You can already learn all these things online and for free. Hack Reactor is probably the most famous dev boot camp out there. It's based in San Francisco, and as of today, October 2020, the tuition online is $17,980. That's pretty expensive considering that the tuition only covers uh, 12 weeks worth of cor course load, or nine months if you do part-time. That's a lot of information to cram in such a small period of time. Even when you look at the human psyche and um, you know, try to make that tuition as efficient as possible, there's only so much an individual can learn in such a short period of time. On the flip side of that, when you go to YouTube, when you go uh, search online, you can find tons of free resources that teach you how to be an excellent programmer, no matter uh, what level you're at. You don't necessarily need something like Hack Reactor. If you are an autodidact, if you have the motivation to learn, if you can set up that uh, weekly cadence for yourself to really dedicate your time to learning programming, you can do it for free, essentially. You don't have to pay $18,000. Number two, dev boot camps don't often teach you the fundamentals. In programming, we talk a lot about CS fundamentals. CS stands for computer science. And these are the things that you learn in college um, that are very theoretical. So it's like how to do something most efficiently or like what is the underlying structure and how uh, something works, right? So if, um, if you can think about mechanical engineering as the, you know, the practical discipline of making something uh, in the real world, um, and then you can think of physics as the theoretical component to understanding how those things work. So uh, likewise, programming is like the building part but computer science is the foundational aspect. And the thing is, uh, w when a lot of college students go uh, to university and study computer science, they don't actually learn how to program. They're, uh, usually the degree is called computer science, and that's what they learn. They learn the science of computation. They learn all those basics and fundamental things. The problem with Hack Reactor is because it has to condense so much coursework into such a little time um, that it often skips over a lot of these fundamentals. And these fundamentals are very critical uh, for you in your career. Um, if you don't learn the fundamentals, you might be setting yourself up for failure uh, when you become more of a mid-level engineer and particularly a, a senior engineer. There's probably no senior engineers out there that I know that work at like, you know, these prestigious um, tech companies that don't have a solid grasp over uh, the CES fundamentals. And a lot of these companies like, like Google and, and Facebook and Microsoft, uh, when you apply to them coming out of a, a dev bootcamp, they will ask you interview questions that revolve around these CS fundamentals. Yeah, one of the common complaints I hear about dev boot camps is once once uh, candidates actually get into the interview phase, they feel like they're not adequately prepared because so much of it is revolved around the fundamentals, right? So the fundamentals are things like, you know, big O notation, uh, basic data structures, low level implementation, even hardware or like how things interface with the network, uh, those things like that. One of the biggest problems uh, uh, as well with not knowing the fundamentals is that it can hinder um, your career prospects and potentially even your career growth, right? So if you're looking into some of the most coveted and most um, you know, sought after highest paid engineering positions, they're probably going to be focused around uh, ML or machine learning. And um, you can't get those jobs unless you have very solid coursework and understanding in those specific um, fields. Reason number three, it overpromises and oversells. One of the biggest things to look out for when you're trying to learn anything new or to grow and to develop yourself is not to be in this mindset where I call it the, the silver bullet mindset, such that you, know, you think, oh, if only I had X, then I can do Y. If only I had the silver bullet, then I could achieve um, 
uh, this thing, you know? If only I went and got into a hack reactor, can I become a programmer? Can I um, get into the industry? The secret is there's really no secret. And the problem with, um, you know, dev boot camps sometimes is that they can oversell you and try to convince you that, you know, this is the fastest way forward. This is the only way forward. And this is like the secret for you to break into the industry. Um, what I want to emphasize is coding is a, a very long journey. Um, and people don't understand that even for those graduating from, from really prestigious schools like Stanford or Harvard or MIT for, for, for computer science, their coding journey actually started way before that. Um, you'd be surprised with how many new grads um, that I talk to that I hire as a hiring manager who tell me like, oh, you know, in, in university, I really didn't learn that much um, about how to program. And it was actually my dad or you know, my friend or learning in high school or where I was like twiddling around where I learned the, the, the biggest chunk of my programming. What I'm trying to say is it's never going to start and it's never going to end with Hack Reactor. If you're in that mindset where you just think that in 12 weeks you can learn how to program, um, I think you're going to be setting yourself up for failure. Really, uh, programming is a, a way of life almost, not to be cheesy here, but um, it takes years and years of, of, of dedicated craftsmanship. And even if you did get in Hack Reactor and congratulations and you found uh, value in that, uh, you should think about you know, the next two years or four years or six years and how you will continue to grow. You know, Hack Reactor and, and dev boot camps in general is they, they have to sell you on it. They have to sell you on the idea that if if only you can do X, then you can do Y. Reason number four, you don't actually need a degree or to attend a boot camp to get a job. So I actually don't have a computer science degree. I didn't actually study computer science in university. Actually, I dropped out of university in six months. More often than not, the people I respect the most as programmers are actually people that don't have computer science degrees. One of my colleagues at Snapchat who I think is a phenomenal, uh, really productive iOS engineer. He has a degree in economics, right? One of my mentors um, and, and, and friends um, yeah, at, at Postmates and, and at Snapchat, he doesn't have a degree either. He, he dropped out and then immediately joined the gaming industry. Uh, and then there's many, many stories like that. The most important thing that I'm trying to summarize here is that it really comes from your own conviction. Whether or not Hack Reactor or Dev Bootcamp uh, makes sense for you really comes from intrinsic values. You should think about like why exactly do you want to become a programmer? And if you truly believe it within yourself, I'd recommend you know finding these online resources, trying to find um, a friend of yours that's willing to help you out on the side and try to explore this by yourself and see if this is actually right for you. Uh, the worst thing you can probably do for yourself is say like, hey, this is the only way uh, for me to get a, a job and then rush into it and then pay $18,000 and then realize, hey, this actually isn't for me. Um, so take your time. There's a lot of resources out there. Just know that if you choose to go about this yourself, um, there's many, 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 many people that have been successful. I know what you're probably saying, Vu, this seems like a very, very biased video. And I went to a dev boot camp and I am doing very well. Um, that's a great point. And I'm going to point out that I'm going to make an additional follow up video uh, to this about four or maybe five reasons. We'll see. Well, I think actually going to dev boot camp is a great idea. So if you want to um, follow that video, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, you know, I can't believe I'm actually saying that, but you know, smash that subscribe button and, um, you know, post some comments uh, down there about other topics you'd like to see. And, um, you know, I'll talk to you soon. Thank you.